in this video tutorial we're going to discuss about e coli bacteria escherichia coli bacteria the escherichia coli bacteria are also known as e coli bacteria they are gram negative means they appear pink color on microscope they are rod shape means their shape is rod like like this they are facultatively anaerobic means they can survive under those conditions which are lack of oxygen under those conditions under those environment where there are no oxygen supply they can also survive and grow they comes from the genus Escherichia family the habitat and mode of transmission of Escherichia coli or e coli bacteria are they are commonly found in human colon vagina and urethra they are colonized they are commonly present <coughs> they are commonly present in human clone small intestine urethra and vagina they are also transmitted from mother to the fetus and causes neonatal meningitis they also transmitted through the fecal oral route and causes diarrhea if someone eats such food which are unhygienic and contaminated with e coli bacteria then these bacteria transmitted into the small intestine of the human and causes and releases their toxins which causes the diarrhea by disturbing the normal physiology of the small intestine the diseases which are caused by e coli bacteria are urinary tract infection these bacteria which are E. coli bacteria which are commonly present in the urethra ascends up to the urinary tract and causes infection there when the E. coli bacteria transmitted from the mother to the fetus they causes neonatal meningitis when the E. coli bacteria are transmitted from the mother to the fetus it causes neonatal <coughs> it causes neonatal meningitis the inflammation of the meninges layer of brain and spinal cord it also causes watery diarrhea when thus when someone eats unhygienic contaminated food and pyelonephritis which is the inflammation of the kidney when the urinary tract infection becomes severe and the infection reaches the kidney it causes pyelonephritis the clinical features of e coli bacteria are e coli causes two types of diarrhea enterotoxigenic diarrhea and enterohemorrhagic diarrhea the symptoms of enterotoxigenic diarrhea are watery non bloody self limited diarrhea the stool which is non bloody no blood is passed out through the stool and this and the symptoms last for one to three days and the symptom last for very short duration one to three days this diarrhea is mainly associated with the travel that's why they are that's why it is known as traveler's diarrhea the enterohemorrhagic diarrhea symptoms are bloody diarrhea blood pass out through the stool and the abdominal cramping urinary tract infection urinary tract infection which are medically known as cystitis or urethritis their symptoms are dysuria burning sensation during urination and the frequency of urination the symptoms of pyelonephritis are fever flank pain and costovertebral angle tenderness dysuria the treatment of e coli bacteria are the patients with the cystitis disease they are prescribed by oral trimethoprime sulfamethazole these tablets and the patient with and the patient with disease uh, pyelonephritis they are prescribed with ciprofloxacin or ceftriaxone tablets 
which is the units which is the units which is infected by in neonatal meningitis condition a combination of ampicillin and ceftoxin a combination of ampicillin and ceftoxin is given now let's talk about the laboratory testing which are used to diagnose the e coli bacteria gram stain smear and culture gram staining procedure is done to identify the e coli bacteria first the sample is collected from the patient if the patient is of urinary tract infection then the urine sample is taken and observed under microscope by making a smear if the patient is of acute diarrhea then the feces and rectal swab sample is taken from the patient if wound is present then pus sample is taken from the patient through the sterile cotton swab and if the patient is of pyogenic meningitis then cerebrospinal fluid csf sample is taken from the patient and then it and then observed under microscope the e coli bacteria is shown like this under microscope pink color and rod shape the other procedure to identify the e coli bacteria are culture their growth on culture the e coli bacteria ferments lactose on the eosine methylene blue emb agar and produces pink color colonies like these it means they ferment lactose and confirm that this is e coli bacteria the other culture growth of e coli bacteria is on mcconkey's agar they produce green stain on the mcconkey's agar like this the another procedure to identify the e coli bacteria is triple sugar iron agar among these this one is the e coli bacteria because it because it because it produces a acid plant and a acid bird with a gas but this gas is not h2s in this case it is confirmed that this bacteria is e coli bacteria